All right, so what's the latest with the Pac-12 besides the idea that Colorado could be leaving, which would just open up a seat for San Diego State, right? Last week, we talked about the CW wanting to get into the live sports business, although we're not certain whether or not that would be a successful venture. Uh, hosting live sports on a channel that's never done it, you don't know how people are going to... It, people are used to clicking on CBS and NBC and whatnot for their sports. It, we'll see what the changeover, if they do something with the CW, what that would mean. Uh, but it's not like they don't have access to it. I mean, that, those channels are available everywhere. Per Dennis Dodd's latest CBS Sports article, uh, and this one's titled, Pac-12 discusses small package of games with the CW as it competes with major leagues for TV dollars. The Pac-12 has 65 to 70 games per year to sell, but they don't have many bidders. And the rumors uh, for a bit last week were that the CW was the potential linear partner as Fox, NBC, CBS, and even ESPN uh, had been rumored to bail out on the negotiations. Again, all rumors. So the CW was the linear TV rumor until more rumors came out that the CW was only willing to offer 150 to 180 million per year. 10 teams, not including potential expansion candidates. You can do the math. It's 15 to 18 million dollars per school per year. Around half of the Big 12 contract per school. Like that's not good. Basically they can't do that. It's more than AAC schools, but it's like half as much as the Big 12. Schools would absolutely jump if that is the whole contract. Now, Dodd's article quotes Patrick Craig's. He's a programming expert, media consultant, and former senior vice president with Fox Sports. He said it's just not a market to be a seller of major college sports rights at this particular moment. Uh, and he's not wrong. As we mentioned multiple times before, the rights for the NBA, UFC, uh, WWE, NASCAR, the college football playoff expansion, those are all coming up soon. The dollars have dried up with traditional outlets like ESPN, etc. Uh, Nick Khan mentioned this on Marshan and Oran on their podcast before about maybe doing like a shorter deal. And that might make sense for the Pac-12, but who is offering the shorter deal, right? One thing that was mentioned as a positive for the Pac-12 in this article is surprisingly uh, the Pac-12 network's infrastructure. Jim Williams, and I've, again, I've quoted him many times on this show, uh, said basically... They have fiber optics at every one of those campuses. They are wired already. The ability to produce these games is a huge advantage that the conference has in negotiating any deal. That's a huge benefit for whoever it is, if you're CW or ION or any combination of the two. The fact that you don't have to send a production team to wherever is a huge plus. And while he mentioned linear television options there, he also, again, mentioned the possibility of an all-in deal with Apple TV, who also, as I have said on the show before, did an all-in deal with MLS while sublicensing some of those games to Fox, which takes care of your linear exposure that the conference presidents have spoken so publicly as a necessity. And so I would recommend reading this story. It, it's over at cbssports.com. Uh, pay attention to some of the things that Crakes and Williams talk about. Now, other notes from the article include Crakes stating uh, that Oregon State, Washington State would go from 650 to 800,000 viewers on FS1, and that would drop to like 250 to 500,000 on a streamer which is a big problem for the Pac-12, uh, while also stating that he, he still thinks that the Pac-12 gets a deal done with ESPN or some other established linear partner, as he doesn't see a lot of value in the Big 12 expanding with Pac-12 schools at present. Now, I, I will agree to disagree with him on that one right now uh, because it's about a grander plan, but, but I do somewhat understand where he's coming from. Uh, the end of the article, you know, Dodd nailed the point here. He, the Pac-12 is trapped in a point where the sports media rights bubble has burst. Cord cutting is making people be a lot more careful about their spending. And we're not just talking about regular Joe Schmo, right? We're talking about the executives and whatnot, what they are capable of spending uh, because you don't just have constant money rolling in because the average consumer is not just throwing money at ESPN all the time. Like this all comes down to, for the Pac-12, how much linear TV exposure they're willing to give up uh, for the money that the schools need to stay competitive while also keeping schools from jumping ship. I mean, it's it's an absolute mess. So I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments.